Hey, Polk County, it's time to get you on point for the new year. Welcome to On Point, your Polk News Beat for New Year's Eve. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Here's your top headlines for this week. A new program seeks to rehabilitate inmates by way of education and employment. I Build Central Florida's construction pre-apprenticeship program recently saw its third graduating cohort of 16 men from Polk Correctional Institution. For a student to be selected for the 420-hour program, they are interviewed and selected by iBuild's instructor and the institution's officers. They must be in good standing with less than one year left in their sentence. The program is the first state-registered correctional construction pre-apprenticeship program in Florida. At the end of the program, participants earn various certifications such as OSHA 10, First Aid, and CPR, and Equipment One. Graduates are connected with one of iBuild's member companies and start working within five days after their release. For more information about iBuild Central Florida, visit iBuildCentralFlorida.com. Florida Poly is joining the research on self-driving cars with a grant from a science foundation. Florida Polytechnic's Advanced Mobility Institute recently obtained the autonomous Ford Fusion through a $350,000 combined grant from the National Science Foundation and the state of Florida. The Lakeland School also used a part of the funding to create a simulation facility on campus that will propel research to be applied to the test vehicle. Beyond just the technology, the research team will be facing challenges of the future of self-driving vehicles, such as insurance, government licensing, and public acceptance of the vehicle's safety. Aldi Discount Grocery Retailer is further expanding its Polk County footprint. Aldi is set to build a second Lakeland store, a 19,000 square foot location at the site of the former, Sa of the former South Lakeland Golden Corral. The grocer has also been expanding its distribution center at the Haines City Industrial Park. And now you're on point with Polk County's top headlines this week. Before you go, please like the video and follow us. Stay safe while ringing in the new year. We'll be back next week with more headlines. Oh,